Smoke and Play. I got my co-host, the great Reggie Ball, in here with us today, here. man. Hey, man. We got the one, the only, Bud Dupree in this moment. Yeah. Hey, man. What's up, Bud? Bud, a man of his word. I've been asking Bud for the last two years to come do the show. <laughs> two years. I had came, did his show, and then he said he's going to come do mine, then he waited oh, another so. four months. <laughs> <laughs> but I ain't want to bring this up because it's, you know what I mean, it's a chill episode. Uh -huh. but what happened in New Orleans, man? You know, as an Atlanta person, we just don't like to lose to New Orleans. No, nah, for sure. So, you know, I tell people, man, we ain't had all the starters, man. You know what I'm saying? We ain't played the starters. That's really why we lost. God. Damn. You know what I'm saying? We ain't Bro, they can't put that memo out before the game? Man, you nah, right. that'll, that'll stop us from watching like, oh, we ain't taking this one serious. Nah, I was just fucking around. Just fucking around. Nah, <laughs> Why you trying nah, the hell out? I know, because y'all could have still won the South if y'all win the game. And, nah, you know, nah but Temple Bay. Temple, to Temple it, won and it missed everything. Come yeah, so when y'all saw, when y'all probably realized Temple Bay was playing Carolina, y'all like, man. The game was cool. Yeah, you don't never want to think like that. But... But you knew, like, man, Temple rolling, they hot. Yeah. The Panthers, they trying to go to the beach right now. They were trying to hurry to go to the beach. Yeah. They done shipped their car about two, three, probably three months ago. They been shipped their car. So if you got a, you know, <laughs> you got a car hauling, sir, you better hit them, hit them Carolina boys up, man. They'll get you in business. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so look, you you from George. Mm -hmm. So you grew up a Falcon fan? For so sure. I grew up Vic, like. You know, Vic was my childhood hero. Yeah. You know, like, he was the in the neighborhood, man, where we're playing football, we'll throw him up, bust him up. You know, we play. Yeah, every, so, see, man, these kids Vic. don't know about throw him up, bust him up. Yeah, Y'all nah, used nah. to play in the street too? For what? In the road, don't matter where it's at. Yeah. Went to the car right by. Sideline bus, bro. Sideline oh, oh, side oh, side oh, side 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 bus. You know what time it is. Yeah. Well, definitely. When the car ride by, we keep going. Mm hmm. Uh -huh, smooth. Damn. I thought that was just like an apartment thing. Nah, it's a country ah, thing everywhere. too. Cause we really didn't <laughs> have grass in our apartments growing up, so it was like that. We had to play in the street. Yeah, yeah. So it was like you're right was... though. We told to play in the street. We, we, we y'all had them. grass. Yeah, we had grass. We just cried them. Hey, <laughs> shit, you made it to the league. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so look, with you being able to play for the team you grew up watching, like uh -huh. your like this your home team. How how did that feel though? No, it was the dream come true for real. Like the first game, I remember the, the preseason game. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, putting the pads on for the first time, seeing the helmet, going into the stadium it was a very emotional, like feeling for me Real. type vibe. No, that was probably like besides my first game as a Stiller when I played when I, after I got drafted, mm -hmm. like that game was like the most emotional game for my career that I you know to this point. And um, I sit down there brought a tear to my eyes because it was yeah. like you know yeah. this is something that you really look forward to when you're a kid, you know. And everybody in the community like going for you now. Mm -hmm. Everybody and, wanna go for the Steelers, everybody wanna go for the Titan, but now everybody wanna be a Falcon fan. You could right. be a Falcon fan. Like Most it's hard definitely. to be like a Steeler fan and you you know what I mean, you in yeah. Bacon or whatever. A lot of the family could come up to the Falcon game too now. Most definitely. And travel to it. So yeah. Most definitely. Everybody coming in. They every game we'll probably had about 40, 30, 30 to forty people every game. That's what's up. So yeah. it's smooth. A support system at home, you know, they gonna pull up, they gonna show out. Ever since I got in the league, but I will say that about you know, uh, Wilco, uh, the making people, like everybody, they, like, they, they gonna pop out every time. Mm -hmm. You said you started with the Steelers. Did you know TJ Watt was gonna be the player he was gonna be? So that's, man, people ask me that all the time. Like, TJ coming in the first year, everybody, you know, they just thought he got drafted because he was JJ's brother. brother. Uh -huh. But man, seeing the work ethic that he put in from day one, uh, who he was, and, you know, just the athletic ability that he has. He's freakishly athletic. Like, people don't really know that he's super athletic. Mm -hmm. The boy can windmill and go between the legs playing what? basketball. He can't do it now because he needs messed up. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? But back in high school, he was doing that type. So I've been seeing that TJ was going to be that guy. For real? Like, knowing that the the want to that he, you know, he instills himself every day. And all he do is then wake up and play football. Yo, it's Nav Green back again from Broken Play. You know why I'm here. Talk about prize pick, man. It's wild card weekend. Hey, ain't nothing wild about the deals they got. If you type in broken play, they gonna match up whatever you put up. If you put up $63, that's all you got left. Holidays, been kicking your ass. Get what? They gonna match $63. You can't beat that anywhere else. Wild card weekend. We got the Cleveland Browns versus the Houston Texans. I'm telling you right here, off top, take CJ Stroud for more. I know the Browns got a good defense, but I'm willing to go with C.J. Stroud with the more. I don't care what they put it at. C.J. Stroud is a winner. 
Uh, you got the bi- uh, you got the Bills versus Steelers. Huh? I'll take James Cook with the running. I feel like that's going to be a running game. You know what I mean? The trenches, defense versus defense. So I'll probably put a lot of people with less. They ain't going to be passing a lot of yards. It all depends. But this going to be the game to see. Kansas City versus the Dolphins. Tyreek back at Arrowhead. It's going to be cold. Take him for the less. Take him for the less. But look, I'm just if you don't believe me, do what you think. Because you got up to six. If you do six, more or less, you can win up to 25 times your money. Listen to me. Six picks, 25 times your money. And don't be like me. Being one short will make you start contemplating your whole day. If you're if you going to always be one short, just do five. Just do four. Or just do three. But if you want that money, like I do, and it's wild card weekend, go do six, get 25 times your money, and come sip 1942 with the Broken Play crew. Like, Bro, I'm going to be honest way. with you. I, I, like at first, you know, I understand people thinking he in the league because of his brother. Yeah. But then when it was you and him and you level, I was like, now nah, they going to see. He ain't as good as they thought he was. So, I was like, oh, shit. He good. <laughs> <laughs> He could have gone. Yeah, he could have gone. I said, oh, Bob will hold him back. Yeah, yeah. I'm taking a sack forward. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I let that motherfucker start getting 20. That's it, man. You better get up out of here. Now yeah. he was smooth, though, man. He, uh, now he a great player, man. And like you said, that is true, though, bro. Like, I was in the way a little bit. You know, I'm getting sacks and I'm eating off his plate. But, you know, when I left him, he was able to be you know, a whole different type of level. He right. has to dig deeper and go to that bag. and. He touched that bases and man. Now he's defense player of the year. And uh he's just one of those, one of those uh generational players. That Reggie, you think you like him over JJ? Uh I mean, the younger brother is always gonna or supposed to be better than the older brother. So it ain't no surprise that he's doing what he's supposed to do because one, he's watching his older brother do what he do. Mm-hmm. And then on top of that, for some crazy ass reason, the younger brother always seems to inherit those uh uh, supernatural abilities that so. a big brother may have. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't no surprise what he's doing, but uh, yeah, man. Uh, younger brothers always get that upper notch on the, on the, on the older And then brother. they been watching their bigger brother and then they been, on, you know, man. like yeah. playing Beat on, up. Yeah, yeah. so. Yeah. Like, Bro, Bro, older, from the heart older brother right did his job. That's so. you, you, can't, you can't say that. He mm-hmm. had a good look. Like for him to have brothers, man, you know, they used to pick on him. Really? Yeah, right right there. It's yeah. a middle brother too who it's played middle, football yeah. back. Yeah. Oh. For the Chargers and something like that. What's his name? Derek. Something, something wide. Derek White. Derek White. Derek White. got that white on it. So. Hey, Mike Tomlin, they said Mike Tomlin just had, what, 17 seasons? Consecutive seasons. 17 consecutive seasons. How was, like, his coaching, like, his coaching difference, you know, like, than other coaches? Like, Tumlin, he, he Tumlin, could cater more to his players, though, when you yeah, say Yeah, yeah. It's like, Tomlin, um, I would say Tomlin is like, uh, obviously, man, Tomlin knows the culture, so, you know, it's Fresh any time out. of, um, People being able to you know adapt and take upon you no know, situation that you're throwing upon. Like so, you know why people be like, how the hell could Tumman be uh, putting up with everybody acting crazy in Pittsburgh? Like mm-hmm. why until somebody leaves Pittsburgh, you find out they they throw it off or they crazy? Because mm-hmm. <laughs> cause Tumman, uh makes football the priority. Right. So like you come in, you act how you want to. Don't come in here like don't don't come in the building like that. Yeah. Because Tumman gonna be like, all right now, nah, what it is. This this is how it's gonna go in here. So when you leave out, you do what you wanna do. I don't care what you do in your own time. Yeah. But in my time between the lines, you gotta be a professional. So he gave you that leeway. He gave yeah, you that he leeway wants you to, to be. Live. Yeah, he wants you to be who you wanna be in life. Like he gonna ask you about everything going on. Mm-hmm. Like even to this day right now, like when I first was out there, that's when I first started my uh first started like the business stuff that I do. I was telling him about stuff like the Rick Label and stuff too. And he would ask me, even to this day, still about, you know, different stuff that ideas that I told him I was gonna do then. That's awesome. To make sure that uh, you know, I'm following through with it. And you know, he still checks in on I still can talk to him any day. Him and Mr. Rooney, like they are, I feel like they family oriented people. people. They want rave. you to come to the crib, all that. I'm like, sorry to cut you off. People rave about the Rooneys. So please tell us more about the Rooneys. That's the 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 owners of yeah, the, the owners. Steelers. Mm-hmm. We they about they made the Rooney rule. Come on now. Yeah, man, they are they, so long story short, they came from a background of gambling. I don't know if everybody really know the story. Shit, me too. Uh, nah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so they won, uh, the story has they won the team on a gambling bet. Oh, uh, that's generous. Yeah. I'm gambling the, the wrong the way. Bet, and then, you know, uh, they made it a tradition. To everybody in Pittsburgh come to the games and 
it turned into a whole different, you know, stigma of play. Uh, they uh, also got oh, they own the, the casino that's attached to it, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah. they, and they also had a dog racing track back in the day that they had too. So mm-hmm. uh, you know, they been getting money. It's just the fact that you know people relate to them because they take people in as family. Like so, you coming there like you kind of like uh, you ain't really got a father figure. You know, like them boy, that, like they 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 look for that. So mm-hmm. they gonna come in and you know teach you stuff, show you stuff. When I first got there, they take us to, like they take the rookies to Mel Blunt. Y'all remember Mel Blunt? He he was like number. Oh, back in the day. Back in the day. Oh, so Mel Blunt was like host. one of the tallest corners cornerbacks ever played in the league. He started the press technique. Okay. So everybody started pressing. Now they got it from Mel Blunt. Mel Blunt used to mm. stand the line one like he, number forty-seven. Yeah, he would he would yeah, not let nobody come off the line of scrimmage because he was just pressing. That was before they made a rule. Mm-hmm. So he'll stand right here in front of you. You try to move, he just long on you, mm-hmm. long on you, long on you. So now he's like one of the pillars of the Steelers' uh, development for you know, for the youth. Mm-hmm. So he do stuff with kids all around the city. He go take the kids, the at-risk kids, and bring them to his ranch. He got a ranch. Uh, we go out there and shoot. They go out there and shoot guns and learn how to fish, learn how to chain tires, cut grass. Real man. Type yeah, real he, man. He's from stuff. Georgia. So. Yeah, he's from, oh, he from Georgia. What part? Yeah. Uh, Vidella. Um, Vidalia. Vidalia, yeah, Vidalia. Yeah, Vidalia. <laughs> that was at the Vidalia Onions. Yeah. You never oh, know? Shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. So he from he here, so they sent all us to hit ranch mm-hmm. when we rookies to get that same statement. Like, you gonna go on there, you make sure you know how to change the tire. Go over there and learn. Right. Like, mm-hmm. Make sure you go over there and learn how to uh, do teamwork together as a bond and, yeah. you know, do stuff like that and learn. So we got to ride four wheelers. And it'd be so it was like a summer camp for y'all. Yeah, summer Coming camp within a camp. Yeah, like, right. you know what I'm saying. So, so that dope. He so they make sure you like you learning life skills, man, and that that plays a part. I ain't really seen it on the other team so mm-hmm. far. Like where they taking the rookies and making them outside of the building. Like go really learn some. So some tell me this, stuff. bud. You going getting drafted by the Steelers? Would you change that? Because I, I noticed we was talking one day on the show, like, why people don't want to come to Atlanta? I feel like you got to come to Atlanta when you older, huh? Atlanta too turnt. Boy, I, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Duh. Straight up. Duh. I couldn't be in Atlanta. I couldn't be in Atlanta on no, all young. With that first ring contract? Yeah, I couldn't be in What you would have did? What old boy said? <laughs> <laughs> man. <laughs> nah, man, I would have been too much. Bro, yeah. I was already in Atlanta. On my rookie deal, playing in Pittsburgh, still going out, going to the club. We still had about 40 people there every time I go somewhere. Mm-hmm. Imagine if I play on the Falcons out here every day. If I had to wake up in the morning, go work out, don't, man, them folks still gonna be at the house. It was gonna be too much. Man, yeah. don't flick. You know, you know as well as I know. Everybody make their way back to Atlanta. Yeah. All, all, all throughout the league, all around the league, at yeah. some point you coming back to Atlanta. So can't even imagine having that rookie deal. Staying in Atlanta, playing in Atlanta, waking up no. all season in Atlanta. No, that, that might be too much. Zero dollars to five me in Atlanta. Yeah, come on, it ain't gonna work like that. It ain't gonna work. You ain't got no training on how to be rich. You just finna go spend it. Yeah. That's when that Rooney. You see the organizations that we talked about yeah, last yeah, week. That's when sure. that. That's when that comes into play. Mm-hmm. So when you got somebody to take you out to a ranch, show you some life skills, show you right. some money saving skills or whatever you need to be learning to to handle that money to handle that. Fame and stuff like that. Sure. That's why these organizations are a little different than you know others. You got to thrive out of it too. Like you got to be like, like, like we got AJ Terrell. He from Atlanta. He's played. He got drafted by the Falcons. Mm-hmm. But you got to like remove yourself. He did a good job of like removing himself. Yeah. It's hard for me to remove myself. Like I'm a pillar of a community. Right. right. Like, you see what I'm saying? Right. So like I I understand like. I understand that you know you got to separate, elevate, but I'm a person that, that I just can't leave my folk behind like that type of shit. Like, so like I'm always looking for ways to be able to be like, all right, bro, we can, we all can do this and make sure y'all can do this, you know, and, and make opportunities and create opportunities. But when you're that young, you don't know how to create an opportunity. Absolutely. That. So I'd have been trying to do stuff, really not knowing what I was doing with no help. You know, I'm the first person I ever ran into that even went to the league from our area. Like that really can acknowledge, you know, uh, each other. We had other players mm-hmm. that went probably like two more. Uh, Bebe, Bebe, the married time, God mm-hmm. bless him. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kareem Jackson, and um, uh, and then so like those type of players, but it's still like we ain't really we get different ages. Yeah, so mm-hmm. it's, it's it's separated. But the family aspect to have an OG somebody in to kind of like come teach you that we ain't really had that. Like our role models are a little different. 
But who's who took you under their wing at at Steelers? I know Cam's from here, from Georgia yeah. and stuff like that. He's been there, you know, since his rookie year and stuff like. That. Yeah, Cam. I could I could say the Cam one of my big dogs. Uh, definitely one of my big dogs. Cam was definitely a, a pillar to my success in the career, uh, showing me how to take care of my body. No, seeing Jane Harrison. Jane Harrison did a lot. Ooh, of yeah. ninety two. Yeah. He was a bad. Hey, he was he he really that strong? Yeah, maybe five <laughs> o'clock in the morning, yeah. man, lifting weights. Like five plates on the bar, five in the morning. For no with reason. A big gray suit on. For no reason. You don't even gotta let that man wait to play football, bro. <laughs> bro, fact. <laughs> 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 like, nigga, you got help. You ain't, no, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta move the whole offensive yeah. line by yourself. Yeah, it's a team sport. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is man, it? I'm gonna say this about Bud. A lot of people don't know this, man. So when Bud was playing for the Steelers, Bud, he do a weekend from his in his hometown. Like he he give back to his city. I I will contest this. He have a comedy show. He have a basketball game and all that. So Bud had booked me to come down there to his city. So he was like, "Oh, they telling us all the details. It's gonna be a sprinter and all that." So we like, you know, we <laughs> we. We geek. Man, we put he the sprinter pull up. I'm expecting the driver to have a suit on. This motherfucker driving the sprinter. <laughs> Hanging out the window. Hanging out the window. Man, man, bud. He had got long little trouble. He had trouble there that weekend. Yeah. Yeah. It was like it was just a, a dope little little situation that you were putting together though. Nah, for like sure. for your uh first four day weekend. What what got you into doing that though? Um uh, just always want to give back to the community, like I said, man. Have I always want to have outlet. I like to be accessible to the kids so the kids can see us. Mm-hmm. Um, it get bigger and bigger every time I did. You know, the first time I did a ride out, the first time I did a ride. Um, With the motorcycles, wasn't it? The motorcycle, it was probably like fifty, probably like sixty bikes. Nah, I had to shut it down because, but the last time I did, it, I had like six hundred people out there on motorcycle. We Damn. couldn't even ride through the roads together. Man, that's amazing. Yeesh. So uh, that's dope. That's amazing. We raised each time we do it probably like thirty, forty thousand. So. Um, I give it all to the children's hospital and I donate to a single family, a single mother homes down there too. Uh, I'm, about to go, I'm about to go down there and do like a little cookout and just, uh, soon and do some uh, stuff for like single parents that's on my road, on my little, on my street. I can't do the whole community. I can't do the whole uh, Oh yeah. yeah. But, but yeah. My, my street, I try to for pay sure. everybody on my street. That's like, what's up. On my block, I try to pay everybody. Who showed you that, bro? Nobody, man. I just seeing these folk really still in it. You know what I'm saying? So that was just in you to yeah. when I get on, give back. So, yeah, because if I, if I used to eat at your crib when I was little, I'm like I'm a village kid. Yeah, everybody raised me. Like my mom was a great mom. Right. She worked, but she worked 24 mm-hmm. seven. So everybody raised me. So if I can go here and uh, eat at your house when I was 12, and I come home and you can't really pay your bill, right? You know what I'm saying? I got That's hard. Like it. I cool. I look out for you. That's hard. Right, clap it up for that. A lot okay. of people forget, though. A lot of people will forget who for helped sure. them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So just like, when life just will move you out of certain situations, you be like, damn, such and such did. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to yeah. see people like in that situation. Like, so what, you at Kentucky, when did you know you was going to go like? To leave? Yeah. Yeah, so like, uh, my second year. For real? Yeah. My second year, my first year, I was mad because I wanted to play offense. They put me on defense. I was hot at everybody. What yeah. position? People, I, yeah, I was, people don't know that you <laughs> caught a thousand yards. Yeah, your senior year or something like that, right? Ten uh-huh. touchdowns. Uh huh. A lot of people don't even know that. So I was, I was getting offers to play with uh, tight end receiver. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I so Kentucky, they tricked you. They got me. <laughs> So you going there knowing you finna play tight end receiver? I'm, I'm picking out offense. No, I'm looking at. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to look at that new routes and run all the route guard, all the route guard stuff. See, 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 see. This is it. I try to do all that. Man, I get up there, them folks hit me with the. Really, it, it, it happened. Something happened for them. Perfect timing. The uh, the outside linebacker went to jail. He got caught with like three pounds. Damn. In college. You know, in college, that's a lot, boy. You what, mean, three pounds? You he finna shut the he shut the campus down. <laughs> <Right. in Kentucky. laughs> Don't pounds. let it be the real one. What? <laughs> I thought it was some Zah. <laughs> but, but, uh, no. Shout yeah. out to Frank Lucas. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Don't hear role model. But, uh, so he got locked up and they were like, Bud, man, we need you to play defense, man. You know, our starters just got locked up. I'm like, mm. I'm starting on offense. They were like, uh, about that. Nah, yeah, man, we need you to change. All right, man, I went home and called every coach that I had number in my phone book trying yeah. to transfer. 
And luckily we had a porter back then. We had a porter. I was gone. You were gone. Yeah. For sure. But I couldn't do it. You know, he had to sit out for a year and a yeah. half. Then. Yep. Yeah. So that's the only thing that stopped me. But I, man, it worked out at the end of the day. When yep. I'm playing defense, I'm like, oh, y'all try to get me the whole time. Then the next year, they like, man, we need to get a plan so you can go to the league. Mm. I'm like, damn, where you went from college, graduating college to go to the league? Like, I believe in myself, but it's a big shot. All right, what we gonna do? So I ain't going to school no more, right? <laughs> so I stopped. <laughs> hey, hey, that's the first thing you want to do. I stopped caring about no class. more classes. So yeah, I stopped. Well, not like caring about all in general, but I stopped like, like I was, I started. Uh, my mom. Yeah, what get, you my mom, started, up? my mom started getting calls home and right. stuff. Yeah, what you what you were taking up? Uh, so I wanted to be an architect. So I wanted to be an architect. Then you know why I wanted to be an architect? I just like to do houses and stuff. Uh-huh. Uh huh. They're like, man, you can't be an architect, man. You got you about to go to the league. I like. So what I need to do? They're like, man, just you know, do this degree, so you can. We know all the teachers. <laughs> I like. All right, bet I'm gonna do this degree, community yeah. leadership. So look, how how mom Duke felt when you told her like. They tell me I'm going to the league. She's like, boy, you go to the league. Boy, you better get to school. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that class. Shout out to mama, man. That's what's up. Hey, you better get your degree, boy. What you talking about going to the league? Only one person going to make it. I'm like, I'm him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's me. <laughs> nah, for sure. It was smooth, though. Nah, that's real. Man, you still uh, stay in touch with some of the players from Kentucky and stuff? What made you choose Kentucky out of all the offense? The playoff at? So that was the only school. That's the only reason before? I wanted to go. D one school won't play off at them. Only Dang. reason. What well, other offers you yeah, get? I had so UJ offered me on signing day, which was so hard for me to bite my pride and not go. Cause I'm like, man, y'all offer me on signing day, y'all don't like me, man. Y'all who that? Uh, like last UGA. resort type of shit. Oh, oh, joy. Oh. So they offer me on signing. I'm glad day. you ain't go there, bro. I ain't no right. telling what they would have had you playing. I ain't no telling. Yeah, D- defense. Two, yeah, I'm playing defense. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so look, but was you playing in high school? You were playing both sides of the ball. Both sides. So they had. Oh, okay. So they saw they what saw, you could yeah. do on defense. Oh, way better on defense anyway. Everybody For real, you it. knew that. I just ain't. I just ain't. Yeah, I think, bro. Black kids, we want to score a touchdown. Yeah, right. don't. Yeah. Yeah. We want to score the touchdown, yeah. man. And we, we want to cross yeah. that goal line, bro. Yeah. Everybody wants to. The cheer and the praise from scoring the touchdown yes. or hitting a home run. Or dunking. Come on now. But so you ain't never ran it by none of your coaches. Like, you know, you can put me on offense on a little trick play. Oh, what? Did I? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Love the two. Man, they ain't never do it. It mm. was over. I don't think they want me to get back over there. Man, they'll put they'll put the D linemen in quick. Uh, full back, goal full line. Back, throw yeah. it right to them. Uh-huh. So like being like offensive guy, like and you play defense now, getting paid to play defense, you be on the sideline like, damn, I, I could have caught that shit. Yeah, you always gonna say that. <laughs> like, I would have died. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You always gonna <laughs> <laughs> You be like, uh, uh, yeah. right. <laughs> right. You know all that? You see the little rock girl, I still try yeah. to do it all season. Hey, <laughs> how, how was it with AB in Pittsburgh? So, a, see, I got I got mixed reviews by AB because I ain't, I ain't met this AB. Yeah, okay, you know okay. Saying? So. AB I know is so that's what you were saying like when people leave they, they, they tie it yeah it'd be different like cause Mike Tumlin like he, he probably had it he controlled it yeah yeah AB ain't coming in the facility like mess I don't tell him like that Tumlin black Tumlin go what yeah. you say <laughs> like, man I knew Tumlin was real when they had what he had on black, black forces, forces. Yeah. I said yeah. the, team forces. the whole team oh, yeah. forces yeah oh that was this year yeah was yeah he's standing on Benny when, Tumlin uh, walk up and be like they tripping bud that don't matter if you want me. I don't know if he want me to fight or get a sack. I do both. <laughs> when he, I like, bud, they tripping. I don't know when I was on the That's why he said, he tripping, bud. Yeah. I know now. All right, I got to be the, the pit bull. So. Yeah, for sure. Were you there when AB went live in the locker room? Yeah. You were there? That was crazy. Yeah. AB, like I said, AB is, <laughs> man, AB is a good family per, or yeah, person. Sure. Mm-hmm. When I was there, man, he was, I was there at Creel all the time. We was kicking it. We was kicking it every day. Every Thursday. We uh man every Friday we But it ain't too much to do in Pittsburgh though. Nah, it ain't. Yeah. That's why we that's why we're so close. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Every Friday we go to A B Careers and me, A B probably one more person, my boy Chicolo. Um, we eat food, watch film, and just talk about like what we're gonna do for the season, you know, do the game mm-hmm. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. A B talk about how he finna go out there and get two touchdowns and everything he said he did in that game. Like, yeah. He cold. So it was really A B was a dog. You remember it was they don't a lot of people forget it was a couple years where people were a B or Julio, who was yes. the best? Julio or A B? That's real. It, yeah. That was the only two names that you would even talk about. I think for a, 
a period of time. A couple of years. But AB route running was, oh my God. You got them numbers too. You got the numbers to back up everything he talked. I don't know about the crazy stuff, but yeah. the numbers, the stats. Yeah, for sure. With well, less years. Come on now. That was a, mm-hmm. It's only a matter of time before he get in that gold jacket conversation. But Man, that man walked out of a, a football game. <laughs> Shirt Third off. quarter. Shirt off. And, Shirt and off. Pump the crowd up. Hey, bro. So you saying he not gonna get that get in that conversation? He, but I'm saying he did all that, missed all them games, and still there you got go. most okay. stats. Cool, and all we on the same page. Man, yeah, we on the same page. I I knew, you know what I'm saying. Don't get me wrong. I be saying a lot of time like when you could tell when you give a black person money, and you could tell when you give a nigga some money. <laughs> And AB was a nigga like, boy, I got money. Y'all tripping. So with him, his time in Tampa Bay, it was like, y'all, I already got money. Y'all tripping. Anna he didn't Reed. care about taking shoulder pads <laughs> off, none of that shit. He was like, I'm down here for a favor. You're right. Yeah. I ain't here because I need this shit. He, tr- he was treating it like an Amazon job, bro. You're right. <laughs> you say the wrong, we ain't running this play. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, we just going to... It's only 30 seconds. We just gonna run the ball. That nigga take his shit off. <laughs> yeah. Quick. He do it. Hey, you right though. Cause when he started getting that other bag, he started acting way different. Man. Yeah. But and it came out with a song. He, yeah, and it's yeah. still still Yeah, they they still, still do it. Yeah. Hey, but I think <laughs> they hit by perfect. They try to yeah, say they hit by perfect. Bengals, yeah. So when they slept him, yeah, triggered him. But he says, he says that hit by perfect made him look at the lead different. By me, what I mean by that is he said nobody called to check on him in the organization. Mm-hmm. Nobody called, like not not saying like Tommy them, but like the the higher. Yeah, 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 like the. Yeah, nobody came and talked to him about it. They didn't want him to come on the plane. You know, some people when you the when you the star, if you don't get the attention that you want in a certain moment, like that was a down moment for him. That really like a moment that showed him like with him lead going without you. Mm-hmm. Oh, gotcha. So now he like, damn, y'all ain't really, y'all don't like me oh, like okay. y'all said. Like, so it's up. Y'all just using me, huh? Yeah, it's up. All right, now I'm like, woo, woo. Some folks gonna be like, man, that's just part of the game. They just had a bend and go. Next man up. If you get hurt, somebody else gotta put you, get in your position to play. Mm-hmm. How the game keep going, you ain't bigger than the game. But AB like, nah, but I'm bigger than the game. <laughs> y'all left me out? Oh, no, nah, everybody gotta get it. Hey, um, did the Arthur Smith fire surprise you? Nothing don't surprise me in the league. Okay. I've been seeing so much <laughs> stuff go on, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, they fired my old coach today, too, Vrabel, Tennessee. Yeah, tight. No! Yeah, about, a, about an hour ago. Right? Hey, we all, uh, what's my dog? Bro, a lot of people, I never hear people say bad stuff about Vrabel. Yeah, all good shit. Yeah, folks like Vrabel. Yeah. yeah. They like him. Damn. But a lot of people leave what they want Vrabel to do. Win. Yeah, win. Yeah. Bottom line. That's it, what it you is. You got to get out of the first line, round of the bro. playoffs. You got to win the division. Bottom man. line. Ws. Tennessee been having rosters like, we been, they had four. When I was there, we had four. We had a team. Mm-hmm. It's like this year, we had a team on paper. Crazy. Falcons started off strong. The deep, bro. Defense. Now, look, do what I say, and, and it ain't just because you here. Bro, I said the defense, I said, man, they, the defense be on the field so much. Oh yeah, bro. Six bro, five. in the off on the offense, it like they don't they don't take advantage of what what I don't know, bro. I don't know. They, they you probably can't speak on it, it. it but I know y'all be looking like, bro, bro what? They couldn't, the get hell? they couldn't get no rhythm going. Uh, with good play receiver call, core, personnel. Two of good course, running backs. It starts with three. the quarterback, though. Yeah, it was three running yeah, backs. By the way. Yeah, my bad. My bad. Forgot it. It just didn't come together. I don't know why. Do you have any insight on on the matter? Yeah, man, you just, uh, yeah, Take I mean, the, the, ta- the, ta- the, the roster is super talented. For yeah. sure. It's, we not taking that away. Yeah, you can't take away with the offense out of the ball. The O-line is solid. The O-line, see, O-line play, like, let me tell you, O-line and lead. If they solid, they mean they great. Because it's like, you don't, don't give up. You give up one second game, but that's cool. That's amazing, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. One second game, that's cool. They going to get one. Everybody right. going to get a sack. Somebody going to do a move. Somebody faster than somebody, so they going to be exposed. And they right, right, right. Too. Right. So, but the way they block, man, them boy got three running backs. Let's be real. They got four receivers. They got Kyle, John New, Drake, who is Drake, tough, Drake, very underrated. Drake underrated. Drake, amazing guy. athlete, bro. Mm-hmm. Throw in, um, throw in, um, throw in Red, mm-hmm. Red Cordell. You know he go, he go crazy. Wilson, athletic, tall as fuck. Mm-hmm. 
Come on, man. And you got to throw BJ on as a receiver, too. What? Did you see what he, uh, what, against the Saints, how he caught that ball? Yeah. I mean, when, you know, when somebody catches that ball, I was like, he gone. No, nah, for sure. But the Rams, I think the Rams, um, they messed it up like three years ago. That three years ago, what they did when they went all in that one year and they won the Super Bowl. They mm-hmm. showed everybody, Matthews, they show everybody you, can, you can go all in and win the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. They, as long as your roster is, you got to sign top of the top uh, quarterback where they did when they got met. They traded Matthew Stafford, him. yeah, traded for him. Had they put it defense. all on them. And look, so look, you know they play this weekend. Yeah. The Rams. The Lions, the Lions. against the Rams. He going to eat them. Who? Stafford? Yeah. He going to go crazy. But <clears throat> the Lions in Detroit. <laughs> Lion defense good, though. Yeah, Lion defense good as hell. Lions and they special team. And bro, that coach, Damn you gambling. talking about gambling, he gambling. He don't give a fuck. Yeah, he don't. The last game showed it. He Boy. Wild. He'll fight, I think. Oh, yeah. Nah, ain't hey, no thinking to it. He'll fight. He'll throw them hands. He'll throw them hands. Yeah, Reggie he'll get in there. Play Reggie play it with him. He, oh, real? Yeah. yeah I, I was, uh, unfortunately, a part of that 0-16 um, <laughs> Detroit Lions team. So, oh, yeah, I was up there. Yeah, I was up there with them. Bro. Yeah, I'm pretty old. Bro. I know I look young in the face, man, but I'm, I got some years on me. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, don't say it like that now. He I'm said the 0-16 team. <laughs> Like, yeah. what y'all looking History. forward to? Huh? What y'all looking forward to? Uh, that team, I'm not going to lie to you, uh, but you talk about the Roonies, the organization, and your experience with them, uh, with Pittsburgh. It may have been the exact opposite with us in Detroit. Um, mm-hmm. Detroit was the farm league of the NFL for a long time, mm-hmm. and I saw that firsthand. Um, I love the city. Um I got two babies born in, in Detroit, both my hospital. Shout out to Detroit 248. But that that organization at the time, it can be different now. Mm-hmm. It wasn't what it was. They the organization, I didn't know of anything, anybody giving back. Uh we would get together amongst ourselves, something like that, little small groups of players mm-hmm. and stuff like that, but nothing as a unit. So y'all didn't even kick it. It's a small group yeah. of players here and there, a party here and there, but as a unit, nah. See, a lot of folk don't really know the potential that they got. Like when you really kick it with your team, man, like, that's everything. It, it, it make it, it make. They it ready to run to through a brick wall. Yeah. Play. Nah, for sure. You like they're my good. dog. I got it back. And my boy, yeah. and yeah. my boy, I know his kid. I know his girl. I know exactly. his mama. Mm-hmm. Like his mama gonna see me, baby. Give me a hug. You know yeah, I mean? and you call they mama, mom. Oh, right. hell yeah. That I don't know if that's just an Atlanta thing or like a country thing. Like if I like if you my buddy and that's your mom, like, like hey mom, like that, mama on the, yeah, but if you like. If you still on that miss such and such, like y'all ain't family. Y'all nah, man. business. <laughs> all business. Yeah, it's all business that still. Even it. Hey, did y'all take offense? <clears throat> we know how uh, Arthur Smith felt about. It. Did you take offense with James James Winston did? We were we were confused for real. Like, yeah, we were confused at the end of the game. You know, everybody <clears throat> in that situation, like the proper etiquette is. Yeah, you know, the proper etiquette is to kneel. Kneel for sure. But the end of the day, man, that's it. Football. They yeah. already smacking that. So yeah, <laughs> if. That what he decided to do. That what he decided to do. We should have yeah. been ready. To came, they, cause they, they, some of them players came out the ball. Some of them players didn't come out the ball. They ain't even know for real. Yeah, someone didn't know. Someone knew. So after the game, they was apologizing and stuff. Like, man, we ain't try to do that. James checked it. James did this. James did that. So he played with telling on him for doing <laughs> That's it. That's crazy. Like, <laughs> he said, "It's a team, a team decision." Yeah. Man. <laughs> yeah, he said on the TV like, "Yeah, yeah. It's a team decision." We asked, but at the end of the day, man, in football, you can't really be too mad at Jameis because yeah, still, nah. Jameis gonna be who Jameis is, right? But uh, I mean, if it, bruh, if it hurt that, her that bad, this, this the only thing <laughs> <laughs> with Jameis, bro. Yeah. What what you expect, like? It, Jameis don't don't get on the field. And, man, shit, I wanna I wanna score and drive. <laughs> man, that probably. I'm trying to get on another team. <laughs> It was a good PR move for Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> he going to be in the news for two, three weeks. Yeah, trending right. He trending right For sure. Now. For yeah. sure. Speaking of quarterback, we do a pound for pound, bro. Uh-huh. You get to pick which quarterback you you like out of the quarterback, seeing that you go against him every week. Okay. So, first, we got Jalen Hurts or Tua. Both Alabama quarterbacks. Uh, Hurts. You take Hurts over yeah. Tua? A reason why, I just... Hurts over Tua because Hurts can do – Tua, man, yeah, I don't want to say it like that, but Tua got cheat codes. Like, it's, it's – The weapons around him. Yeah, he just throw the ball in there. Hey, he think yeah. Tyreek Hill 6'6", six, six, though. Yeah, he just yeah that's crazy. Like, but Jalen had weapons. He played like it, bro. He like crazy weapons. Like, but they ain't super like – Bro, Tyreek be five yards past everybody every time he run around. Look at the film. For real? 
Like when? Oh, AJ, you can just what routes? AJ run routes. What routes do Tyreek run? Go. It's AJ's. Straight option routes. Straight option routes. And Jalen, Jalen Waddle was hurt. Yeah. Geno Smith with Kyle Murray. Kyle. Yeah. Hey. We be forgetting about Kyle till he play again. Yeah. That boy still nasty. I love watching that shit, boy play football, man. He's still nasty. He's like a little bad kid running. Yeah. I love yeah. watching him. Oh, play. this now this difficult. Lamar Jackson or Pat Mahomes? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You ain't got to think about this. Yeah. Yeah. You should have matched him up with somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you can't go wrong with that one. Um, you can't. Mahomes is Mahomes is uh, generational. <laughs> Lamar is generational. Uh, the Lamar is the new Vic. Uh, Mahomes is the new Brady. Wit, wit a little bit of uh, a rod. Yeah, a rod in them. They can yeah. escape. Mm-hmm. Uh, and those are those franchise quarterbacks. They're the kind of them the quarterback that you really want involved to take you to championships. Yeah. And uh, so you're gonna say a draw. Nah, I'm gonna go with Lamar because Lamar, cause Lamar be doing some hood shit. Yeah, <laughs> Lamar might Kodak buff on that. Yeah, <laughs> with his code. <laughs> hey, I like Lamar. Like it be little different shit. I look outside of football. No, nah, for sure. When Zay Flowers had scored and he did a celebrating Lamar, like man, that this shit, shit track. weak. You yeah. saw that shit with uh, Mark Andrews like earlier in the year. Put his hand up. He was open. He's like, and Lamar put his hand up like, uh, and just ran the touchdown and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Like Lamar still like make you feel like you watching one of the one of them high school players that Absolutely. nobody could ever stop. No, no. Open field tackle. You 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 like you against Lamar? Nah. <laughs> Bro, we put this post up on our page. Do you know it's so many? We would like take five hundred thousand or what? Get five million to open field tackle Lamar. They like his they, defensive players in the league wouldn't even do that. They, Why they, would they, you they, think they, you they, could do it? They want think they could do it. You get ten chances. They say they get ten. Oh yeah, we could. Of course, I'm gonna hit him. Like, <laughs> yeah. Out of ten, yeah, I'm gonna out hit him. Yeah. But look, that's out of ten, lot, that's you had to think about it. Yeah, you gotta. No, Somebody you can't do on 10. the couch. You can't do ten. You gotta do one. Let's be real. One, I ain't gonna get him one. You nah, ain't gonna get him one. I can get him in two or three because they're gonna be like, I'm gonna bait him. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm a football player, so I'm gonna bait him. He gonna whoop. I'm gonna, right. like, I'm gonna get him. Yeah. But like one on one, like coming in, man, you ain't talking Lamar. I don't care who you think you. You gotta be. You must be a safety. Yeah. Better be Mika. Like, you know what I'm saying? Somebody who finna bite. Oh, or speaking of saying sideline help next Jesse, year. Jesse Bates is a bad boy. Yeah, Jesse Bates a dog. Huge pickup. Great pickup. Man. Dog. Something they did right. Ball hawk. Yeah. Ball hawk. Definitely something they did right. Not throw the ball in the air. He gonna go good. Man. Jesse a good dude too, man. That's my boy. For real. Aaron yeah. Rodgers or Josh Allen? Right now? I think over. <laughs> over. <laughs> Overall, it gotta be Josh. I mean, uh, right now it gotta be Josh Allen. Yeah, a, healthy. A Rod, yeah. A healthy A Rod. Yeah. Okay. Ben Roethlisberger or Russell Wilson? Bro, Ben. How was it with Ben? Ben was a cool dude. Ben, yeah. You take Ben for granted. Ben was one of them boys. Ben was a dog. Yeah. He'll play hurt. What? Finger twisted. What? All that. How big was he? What I'm most big two sixty. God damn. Big boy. Yeah. So yeah. now you see why you hold on to the ball and oh, yeah. bank on throwing them up. Ben throwing the ball. Man. man, you seen him touching out AB again. That's the end of his career. Yeah. Go look at the one he was throwing in San Antonio. San Antonio. San Antonio. Yeah. Everybody forget about San Antonio. That catch was. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody yeah. forget about yeah. Go look at them. Go look at the one he was throwing to uh, Hines. The uh, ball's Hines Ward. Hines Ward. You know, he from, UGA uh, legend. Yeah. He from here. Forest he Park. Forest Park. Park. Yep. Yeah. Uh, they, t- they saying... Well, I don't know how the quarterback situation is. You know, we watch ESPN and we yeah. have our own talk. Would Would you think you think Russell Wilson will make it in Atlanta? With, man, free band gang gonna get on. There. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is, is he gonna make it? Man, that's that's you know they're gonna be on that talk. That we should not. He gonna be the goal. I'm talking about consider. make it like where he be good. Where he gonna go? I, man, he don't uh, go nowhere but feel, church. He gonna feel comfortable. He can't even go to Newburgh. Man, that man ain't gonna be able to go to Linux. <laughs> You don't see, man, Lucha and Thug will find that link. You think they ain't going to find Russell? No, he'll, he'll be at Mall of Georgia. <laughs> yeah, he going to be what? Well, Ma- yeah. Nah, he going to go to the outlet at 400. He might can't go to the outlet. All the rapper move up there now. Yep. Oh. Joe Burrow or Trevor Lawrence? Joe. Yeah, that's the easy one. Dak Prescott or Brock Purdy? Oh. oh. Hey. <laughs> that. Why, why you mad? Nah, because I was thinking about what Cam was talking about, them boys. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cam yeah. New. Uh huh. Nah, I go that man, but that is a good comparison though. Yeah, Justin Fields or Jordan Love? 
Fields how he did us. Feel nasty. Yeah. They saying Phil, Phil, they 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 saying they speckin' like he could come to Atlanta. He good. Yeah. Feel good. Feel can run and pass. That boy fast. He fast too. Cam Newton or Michael Vick. Oh. Overall career. People be trying to be little Cam though, like Cam and Cam is one of them. Cam Yeah, still, for sure. Cam was them, but I'm Cam had an MVP. Great answer. Yeah. Cam great is answer. the guy. Like, yeah, he I'm gonna go Vic though. Yeah. Oh shit, but hey, he just said no. Vic was his nah. name. Yeah, I, but I'm saying I understand, but like you won't just want to say Vic that quick so people won't know. Yeah, but look. Cam was yeah. bro, Vic had chubby niggas want to play quarterback. Like <laughs> I yeah. remember me, I'm like, I'm all time quarterback. No, you not. <laughs> you a sinner. <center. Yeah. laughs> hey, I threw the ball <laughs> eight yards. <laughs> but you gonna <laughs> juke somebody. <laughs> Motherfucker, but you don't went too far, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but show, uh, Drew Brees or Tom Brady. Ooh, boy, y'all tripping. Oh, Tom. Uh, oh, my, Tom. Drew yeah. good, too. Tom, yeah, for Tom. sure. Tom, 100%. Heineke or Ritter? He asked you that. Don't look oh, over yeah. that way. He asked you that. <laughs> God <laughs> dang. That's the last one, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is my boy, man. I can't turn the boys against each other, man. Heineke, my dog. You know, they're one of the bro, bro. I like Heineke, my dog, dog. They're my bro. And then he the little homie. I'm going to just leave it like that. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, we... Yeah, we... So I look, you know, playoffs this weekend. Um, I know we both. Well, I know the whole room is happy that the Saints ain't in, so you ain't got to so, worry about the Saints. Hell yeah, me too. That was good. Yeah, that was good for Get the Saints. Here. Yeah, and then they lose draft position just by winning. Oh, they so y'all really, yeah. So they beat us and lost a spot. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely good. So that they really was a chess move by y'all. So yo. Don't <laughs> Shout out to the Nerdy Birds. Though. See, folks, I didn't even know we did it. Yeah, I think when y'all looked at the score that I saw, I was like, "Damn, y'all whooping ass first half, but then yeah. y'all realized. Temple like, winning. Yeah. Man, don't let them boy get drafted for Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Dallas Cowboys or the Green Bay Packers? Both of y'all, who y'all got? Uh, Dallas. Yeah, I like Dallas, too. Yeah, Dallas. Yeah, they owe Green Bay. Dallas yeah. at for home, a, for sure. For a, lot of, for a lot of that F stuff that Mike McCarthy do. facing his old team again. So oh, yeah, both. I ain't even thinking about mm -hmm. that. I'm just thinking about how Yo. they cheated Dez Brown with that catch. Yeah, that's so yeah. That, too, is going to come yeah, back for full sure. circle. Detroit Lions versus the Los Angeles Rams. I know you got the Lions, Reggie. Come on, now. All right. Who you got, bud? I think the Rams heating up right now. And uh, But I'm going to go Detroit because they hot. I think it's just time for them to. Yeah, get a playoff win. Yeah, time yeah. to get over the home. Yeah, get a playoff win. Detroit, Who you got, Marcel? Detroit. I say, all right, Detroit with the sweep. And they in Detroit, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. And that stadium rocking that we played yes, this year. Yes, it is. Tampa, Buc Tampa Bay Bucks versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles. I got the Eagles. I don't they care what been happening these last four games. I'm scared to Ain't see it. Ain't no way they go down there and lose to Tampa Bay. No, I'm scared. They better not. The Tampa had some iffy weeks the last couple weeks. If they think they, they only going to put up nine points, I Reggie. know. I'm saying they do to come up out of that, but. And you don't think the Eagles are here? I didn't say that. Oh, okay. I, I, I'm going to go with Giants, the Eagles. Man. But I, I I don't know, man. It's it's I ain't finna put no money on them. All right. I think I'll be close. Buffalo Bills versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Ooh. Bills. Ooh, Bills. You going against the Steelers? Yeah. They ain't got, they ain't got no TJ quarterback. Yeah. TJ ain't playing? No. Nah. Nah, oh, like Bills. Yeah, it's a wrap. Bills. Mason Rudolph. I don't know if Mika playing or not. It's a wrap. Bills. <laughs> man, it's a wrap. Bills. We ain't even got to discuss that long. <laughs> Now, they're going to be a good-ass game. Kansas City Chiefs versus the Miami Dolphins. Hot. In Arrowhead. Whoever scored first. Ooh. <laughs> that's a good take. Um, I got a... Um... I won't play off Pat. Yeah, for they sure. Both, they, both teams uh, haven't been playing well lately, yeah. bro. If we see playoff Pat Mahomes, he going to get another ring this year. It's going to be cold. It's going. It's like minus, it minus, right minus two degrees or some shit. Oh, in Kansas City? Yeah. Oh, I got Kansas City. Oh, y'all, yeah, them boy ready to go to the beach. Yeah. Man. I it's going to be say, cold. I don't want to say Pat, but I want to be a wild card and go with the Dolphins, bro. Because Miami do got good defense. Bro, I, they, they hurt. That defense hurt. Oh, it is? They How hurt. many play? Yeah. Uh, they lost. They been just because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say the Dolphins. Just because. So, ain't Tyreek, ain't some girls tripping on Tyreek right now? God damn. Are like they? Two weeks ago. That's who burned his house down? 
<laughs> no, I'm, I'm talking about like no, them kids women, burned the house down. No, he had like oh, like three or four children this year. Like, he had three or four kids this year. Yeah, see, man, we that's got... just like his uh, teammate. Uh, what's his name? The, uh, Howard. The, he, he got Xavier a total Howard, of seven yeah. baby mamas. Bro, this is what? Who? Tyree. Is it true though? Is it true? See that part? I don't know. But if on, it ain't on, true though, on, we the, got on, the, on the feed, it's, it's seven my thing. Said Tyree, and I don't want nobody to take this the wrong way. If you are, if you one of the best players in the league. Who give a damn how many baby mamas you got? You can pay for them. So, you're right. You you yeah, work that is. hard to be good. It's a nigga at Amazon. It's somebody who work at UPS with seven baby mamas. So you mean to tell me he could do it and I can't? Yeah. yeah. That shit and I'm man. catching 118 passes a year? Yeah. Go get your eight, man. Yeah. Tyreek, do your damn thing. Yeah, so, he had, he had uh, his third child this year with three different women. Yeah, hey, I don't blame him. Seven children in total. Seven total. He ain't been married for. He only been married for like a man, month. Man, pull his stats up this year. But definitely, <laughs> there you go. The why they be, almost two K? But why they be why almost they, two thousand receiving yards? Why they be doing that though? Doing what? Yeah, bringing them like why they be trying to bring that to the forefront? Oh, yeah, they are gonna bring that, but you know that's a clickbait. Yeah. yeah, they don't give a damn what you're doing good. I'm telling him if he needs some females to handle some females to jump on some females, time <laughs> hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> Through a third party, hey. it's not associated with Mr. Dupree. Yeah, or anything, yeah, well, yeah. Or not anything. We ain't like enforcing it. You know, fan ain't playing. <laughs> hey, but you have a whole Rico charge. <laughs> hey, but man, this is my thing. Whenever you hear somebody say, "I usually don't do this on the internet," that's what they finna do. Yeah, they it's finna do rap. that. Yep. They finna go to the internet. Yep. They finna go to the internet on you. Houston Texans versus the Cleveland Browns. CJ Stroud, bro. Yeah. He is a dog. Hey, Rick of the Year. He's going to be around for a long time, man. 100%. 100%. What, what you notice when y'all played him? Dog. Yeah. Free. He ain't nervous. He ain't flinching. At all. Poor He's just head. playing football. He talked shit on the field. Nah, he don't say nothing. For real? Nah, he don't say nothing. He seem like he don't really talk shit. That's what I'm saying. No, got... you can't phase him. Yeah. yeah. Hey, then the ones, you, then the ones you want though, you can't face. Yeah, mm. you don't want one like uh, Philip Rivers. You say something, he gonna try to jack you up. Talk about like he he wouldn't. He, he don't curse though. Phil. See, I like that. He don't man. curse though. No, no, no Philip Rivers don't, don't curse. He don't curse, but he gonna say all everything else. Yeah, God damn. Philip Rivers was one of the most trash talking yeah. players yeah. ever. For real, Philip. Yes, yes. 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 I would never do that. Never talking the whole. Who 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 are some more underrated trash talkers? We wouldn't think talk trash like that. Uh, let us in, boy. Who who talking shit? Uh, the, 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 the number one trash talk I played with this year, David Armada, the D tackle when I was in. Uh huh. On the Falcon, he, mm -hmm. he go crazy. For real? Yeah, he I ain't. I, he surprised me. And he African too, so you know he got an accent. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> boy, he going crazy the whole game. What? Who are you to talk to me? <laughs> 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 hey, boy, you like funny shit. I know you probably got that laughing on the field, what? man. Laughing like yeah. Last hey, but the last game, last game, I was just it's the score started getting out of hand, so now I'm just fu fucking with the refs. The ref said, "Ref, he holding." He said, "Who?" I said, seven to seven. I said, "You know, you, you know that shit." Drewski did it was a COVID. We did that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, "You got a man touching me and grabbing me." I said, "COVID." <laughs> <laughs> COVID, like that even folks. So I just be like, I be trying to make it tough, funny, man. Yeah, it's like one. Hand, but I and plus the game the checked unclear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then, then, then you had a contract incentive this weekend too for a sex. I missed that bit I by, know, point by point five. five. By point five million. We ain't stop him in the second half, so I couldn't pad right no more. For mm -hmm. half, I was on the air. Second half, he just ran the ball. Damn, man, you should have jumped over and just plunged that Jalen <laughs> like that. Oh, uh, like they did the judge. You should have just jumped over there when he was gonna do the kneel. <laughs> There ain't no Neil. I caught him. Yeah, I heard that's a sack. Bro, that's that a was an X Man move. Money. If I ain't never seen one, bro. When that, that uh, at that judge jumping over there, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that podium, whatever. He need to go be playing safety somewhere. Yeah, as long as y'all a half a half sack that costs a million. Yeah, me. And you I, missed out a million. Missed out me for point five. Just because we couldn't point stop. Five. Just because we couldn't stop. <laughs> then see y'all. Uh, that's the, I, I was more mad about that than losing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. <laughs> you can be real. Man, we're going to edit that, bro. Yeah. We're going to edit that. I don't, I, want like, you, I don't want you saying that, bro. Like, yeah. <laughs> and it, it was, yeah, man, I'm looking at the score like, God damn. I'm about to lose. I'm about to, bro, I'm about to lose and I'm not about to get set. Now I feel like I'm just out here a failure. 
Like, you know what I'm saying? I just came up with no reason. I could stay home. Hey, you was about to interrupt Coach at, after the game. Yo, I felt like, hey, damn that, bro. <laughs> I'm a million shot. No, for real. I got a million reasons why I need to be leading this post-game talk. No, for sure. <laughs> They asked me after they yesterday we went to meet. They told us, uh, hey, did you get it? Nah, 0.5. Oh, everybody, oh. Like, oh. Yeah. But y'all be keeping track of that. Yeah, Most they gonna bring it up to you at the end. Oh, they will. Okay, that dope. They'll look out for you, they'll tell you. Yeah, yeah you're gonna be like, right. damn. Yeah, class needed three, two and a half sacks. They needed two and a half. Yeah. Oh, that yeah, a half a sack. Two and a half. Them total. Yeah. yeah. Sure. I got one the first play, like the second, like the what I got one like the first. Three plays. Oh, so you like, oh, I'm, it's, I'm about to cash out, isn't it? Like, oh, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. That shit was over there. Ah. What's up, bro? It's tough, bro. It's tough, bro. It's fun season, though, man. I love Atlanta. <laughs> it's your first year here, right? Yeah. You back next year? Yeah, yeah. I'll come back next year. I ain't, for I ain't trying to slide. Man, please stay put, bro. Yeah. Or, yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. Money or championship, you got money. And not to put your business out, but yeah. you, got, yeah. <laughs> you ain't hurting for no money. But I'm saying if it, if a championship team call, like, you know what I'm saying, we, we want you. Oh, for sure. You if, I want, if I want to get a ring. Yeah. So you'll take that ring. For sure. Yeah. Just for the legacy. Yeah. It, it always be a, it always great to say you won a championship. Mm -hmm. Okay. Especially in the, in the highest level. Let it be. We want to see y'all do it here, though. No, nah, we definitely can, but you just... The talent on the roster. Yeah. Got that. It's just everything got to be. They got the eighth much. pick in the draft. Yeah. Yeah. I think we need to do a Mike Vick um, appreciation day. And then that shit. Uh, I think, For sure. I think, that, that I think that'll Vick bridge the gap <laughs> with everybody. It'll make. How long has it been since up? Vick suited up with, with the Falcons? Whew. Right. Mm. Oh, five? And that cloud still over in the organization. Oh, seven? Bro? Yeah. I just, I'm just thinking like from. You like, might be right. Oh, yeah. I, I feel you. Hey. I feel yeah. You. Oh, six, but no, that, oh, for real. That, oh, six, that oh, might dispel some of these. I told you, man. I think we cursed a little bit. Bro, bro. I'm going to tell you this what it is. Like, what if you, are. my dad has season tickets to the Falcon game. So I used to go to the Falcon game. Bro, it's, now it's going to be a time where we could get bobbleheads that's fun. Like, you remember, like, Ward Dunn, Michael Vick. Like, then nobody want no Chris Chandler bobblehead or no. <laughs> No, no, you know what I mean? No player like I ain't we used to leave that in the damn seat. For sure. Yeah, for like sure. Like the Desmond Ritter bobbleheads, you leave, leave in the seat. Nah, I take it. We don't take it, Will. Nah, the Falcons follow me. I take it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know offline how to do shit in the seat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you wanna shout out any of your, you know what I mean? Outside of football, you know what I mean? You got uh you still got your artists? Yeah. Uh, well, it was the um, I know the female. Uh, you had a female rapper then. We had a female at one point. Now I got Baby Jungle, uh, T Roy, mm -hmm. and uh, Southside Twin. Okay, all out so, of uh, what? Are... Jungle and Twin from Macon. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, T Roy from uh, from the East Side. Okay. Well, so when you when you go to choose an artist for the label, what you just like? The, you just got an ear for music. Yeah, <clears throat> or you, just, uh, or it be certain situations you try to. Uh, yeah, try to get some that buzz in jungle. Uh, when I first saw in jungle, you know he was he had a teen wave. Mm -hmm. was, uh, when he was in high school, they had you know the, the young kids, everybody, you know rapping his songs and um the teen shows. He was kind of taking over that forefront, especially down that way. Uh, Southside Twin, you know he had one song that was rock that song Rock Out. It was going doing good, so I signed him on that and I put Nudie on it. Did a remix uh, just to get some some national notoriety on that. Mm -hmm. one. And uh, kind of amplified that one, and then with with T. Roy, I kind of based it on T. Roy just off uh, strictly voice talent. Uh, he had a lot of he had songs. He was already an artist in Atlanta, mm -hmm. and then um, I heard him. Uh, somebody sent me a couple of songs. We heard him, and then uh, you know we started working together. And then you know he he uh, he he the new at I think he the new Atlanta R and B dude right now. So mm -hmm. everybody kind of clicking on to him. So you like R and B on. music too. I just listen here for real, for real. But I listen to, I listen to um, when I'm in the smooth. I don't want to, I don't like listening to shoot 'em up, bang bang all day. All day, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I had to go. How are your kids here, bud? Nine, five, and four. How about you, uh, Rich? Uh, ten, eight, three, and one. Do y'all ever listen to what y'all kids no, listen to? Damn. Whoa, you got one and one? Yeah. Hey, you talking shit by Tyrese. <laughs> that's why I said, you know what you say? I'm going to go straight to the damn stats. I'm going to keep my damn mouth shut. 
I said, pull up them stats. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the office stand for you too. Hey. <laughs> Ray said one and one. I said, whoa, wait a minute. Yeah, fuck that well. yeah. yeah, pull up them stats again. Ain't no way you can have a one and one and they ain't twins. You would have said they were twins. Yeah, they were, I got two Seven twin and one. Twin. <laughs> one and one. How many drops? <laughs> one and huh? one. Y'all hey. accept the catch? Uh, but no, nah, do y'all ever listen to the music y'all kids listen yeah. to? Bro. Hell yeah. They are doomed. Yeah, that music is so I'm garbage. I'm so lucky. My son, Lil Jazz. I purposely put jazz For real? on. I purposely put on Michael Jackson. I purposely put on all the old school shit. Yeah. Uh, Taylor Swift is okay. Um, you know what I mean? <laughs> but for the most part, my my kids are like old souls. And they're around their grandparents a lot. So That's good. I purposely throw that old shit on. Yeah. Yeah. I throw, like, you know some Eric. When they around and they listen, they'll know the music that I'm playing. You know what I mean? I play like T.I. to Jesus. I play all that type of stuff. But then sometimes, you know, like we do an arts pass. I let them pick. And bro, I I be so, so motherfucking disappointed <laughs> in the music they listen to, bro. And my daughter, like, cause my daughter, she be cool. Like, she 13, she be cool. But until some come on, like, she listen to the anti and all that. And they ain't. I, I see a different side of them. I was like, oh, you'll catch a body. <laughs> <laughs> you know this shit word for word. You, you would shoot something if it came down to it. Bro. Cause you know these kids, they easily influenced. They you go is. to a wrong school, and now you got a pistol in your hand. Right. Right. What? Right. I'm glad my kids right. in the suburb, cause they know not a wit who won't smoke word for word. For real? What? And who, who won't smoke with me? Yeah, the word for word. Dad in the NFL. They won't smoke. <laughs> Except, my wife, who you want to smoke with? I don't work there, however. You don't want smoke. Yeah, Tyreek. Yeah. <laughs> From Ghost. So, look, but you be watching, you, you, bro, you be really having time to watch shows. In all season. Oh. Mm. I'm, I, just watch, I just watch All Raising Canaan yesterday. I caught up quick. What? Smooth transition, yeah, the baby. Best way to watch that shit, man. Smooth transition. Yeah, so it can all just the way keep, through. continue watching. Just all keep the way going. Through. Hey, Rock. So y'all clean them lockers out already? Yeah, they are. So when y'all got a report back? Y'all got a y'all got a minute. Um, so OTA start around like April, in mm -hmm. April. Damn. Vets don't you know, vets. You a vet, but you ain't gonna go back. To Cause like, you know how to really like. Yeah, you gonna go back to like June three day minute, mandatory minute count. June we got three days mandatory then uh, training count ju end of July. Okay. So probably right now. So you got your little break. What's the first thing you gonna do? I'm about to go on a trip. I'm about to pick one for and go like soon we get in the car. The that way you know a motherfucker got money. Ooh. <laughs> what that just sound good. He right. said, pick where I'm going to go when I get, up, get in the car. Yeah, I got to go somewhere. Bro, do you know how I pick trips? My baby mama, she be like, oh, they got a price drop on such and such. Amen. <laughs> That's why I went to Belize. <laughs> I never wanted, I Belize. never wanted to go to Belize. <laughs> but when I saw that price drop, I said, shit, look at the Belize. <laughs> they got some pretty water. <laughs> Whoever would have got them had the lowest flight, that would have been the prettiest war that Take time. it up through there. Yeah, man. But we appreciate you pushing up, bud. Got them came, kick pimping. Like, it don't be no, we ain't sure. gonna ask you no political questions, you know what I mean? Get you in trouble now. Yeah, for sure. You say shit anyway, so it's like. <laughs> <laughs> man, make sure y'all follow Bud Dupree on Instagram, bro. He got his own show, Bud yeah. brought a buddy. Uh, did something about to do. About to take it to another place. I'm about to uh, go follow a couple of players, take them back to where they from. So that'll be that's dope right. on so the team. Too. Yeah. Um, who who, who one of the players you want to? I'm gonna do. Uh, I gotta ask. I'm gonna ask the fans who they want to see first. Okay. Sorry. Take your boy, man. We gotta hear your boy with the accent when you talking. David. To you. Yeah. Out the Africa. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Let's go back home. Yeah, yeah, where yeah, he from? Too. You know. He from uh, nah, he from real Africa. He grew up over there. Oh, that, oh, that'll oh, go yeah. crazy. Oh, boy, that budget. Well, y'all got you the budget. Trip, yeah, yeah, yeah y'all got the budget. Yeah. I still pay for it. I nah, for sure. Still will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man, any questions for Bud before he get out here ready? Uh, nah, man, we, we did a pretty good job, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's uh, Bring Your Bud. What's it called? The podcast? Oh, Bud brought a buddy. Bud brought a buddy. Bud brought a buddy. Bud brought a buddy. Mm -hmm. right. He done had Sunny Digital on there, Jermaine Dupree. The vegan, I had a, the number one vegan in the world. Yeah, he had me. <laughs> number one vegan in the world. I, I went, me, him, Tip. Oh. Now I'm number one vegan. Number one vegan. <laughs>
For the streets. Yeah. <laughs> shit, that's why that, they don't be hip to the shit I do outside. Yeah. That's why, like, when they see, they they just treat me like on regular, yeah. bro. I go to the <laughs> vegan world. Like, I go to, I went to a vegan press conference. Oh, my God. They <laughs> raved and raved. It was like, teach us the sauce sensei. I'm like, bro, y'all true. <laughs> bro, where does the next ship lead the skit, though? For real? Man, I, I got, I'm going I'm to drop one next Monday, man. I'm going to drop one next Monday, man. <laughs> Cause you know what? Another thing, I know I we supposed to been rapping, <laughs> but nah, with the shift leader, like it's been going crazy on TikTok. So now I'm like kids, like kids, man. I went to my uh daughter's school. They were like shift leader, shift leader. So yeah. it crazy cause it's like, wild. man, the person who even put the shift leader videos, yeah. I don't even know them. So they blocked me from TikTok. So I'm like, I wrote them. I was like, bro, I'm not trying to delete the page. Shit, you got this shit popping. Yeah, for sure. He was like, man, I ain't gonna lie. This been a good part-time job for me. <laughs> <laughs> that what I'm like. Nigga, you eating off this shit? <laughs> but still, I feel like it's free marketing, so I ain't tripping. I don't, I, I don't start sending that shit. I said, post that broken play clip. I, I tell them, post apartment move. I just there you go. post shit. <laughs> Smart, what? Working the shit out of this. I don't know how old he is or nothing. I got to tell him Happy New Year. <laughs> keep the relationship, man. Yeah, yeah, keep the relationship going, man. So if you need somebody to help with the marketing, I got somebody. Already, for yeah. sure. <laughs> you ain't going to get paid. But... <laughs> we be straight. Yeah, you'll be straight. But no, nah, man. Uh, keep tuning in, watching Broken Play. Make sure you shout out and check my boy Bud Dupree out, man. He a real one. Bud Dupree on Instagram. And check out anything he got going, man. Sure. Salute. Shout out to Reggie Ball. Appreciate y'all.